The Safe Humanity Advocacy Center has released the findings of its recent investigation on the lingering land dispute in Idumeje, Boko community of Delta State. The dispute involving former lawmaker Senator Ned Woko and the Crown Prince of the community, Nonso Wonko, has set members of the community on different sides of the divide with a fear of escalating community crisis. The Executive Secretary of the Foundation, Ibrahim Abubakar, says that the investigation reveals that the Crown Prince had engaged in several unlawful practices and human rights violations, including fiscal abuse and threats to life, among others. Abubakar tasked residents of the community to remain law-abiding and shun violence in the interest of peace. All laid down procedures, which were stringent uh, uh, conditions that were given to Prince Ned Moko was met before the allocation of the land and commencement of the project. They came to a conclusion that uh, the best way forward was for them to have a 40% stake rather than uh, in pain. However, Prince Ned Moko went ahead and compensated all the farmers within the same premises before he started the project of the university project. Unfortunately, Prince uh, Nonsumoku went ahead to uh, sponsor people in the media which carried rumors about the purpose of the land, which he claimed Prince Ned Moku was building a palace and palm plantation. All these people were beaten, humiliated from their houses simply because they did not support the plans of the Crown Prince. However, while we are on ground, our findings revealed that the 2017 crisis was largely carried out by boys, indigents and non-indigents, loyal to the Crown Prince, not so mofo. People's houses were vandalized and properties looted. The university and golf course have met the requirements set out in the MOU given out by the community and also met the NUC criteria for it to proceed.